place to leave with your exercise of the week for the horse magazine. Um, this week's exercise is a variation of toe tap. So you're going to need your fit ball, and of course you've got one, haven't you? So what you're going to do, and this is quite a difficult exercise, so take it in, in bits. If, if the first part's enough for you, just stay with that until you're nice and stable. So this exercise is going to work on core engagement, um, stability of the torso, and we're going to be working the back a little bit, like just a little bit of engagement of the lower back. Um, and we're also working on disassociating the bottom half and the top half of the body. So your legs are going to be moving while your body is nice and still. And we're also going to be working on shoulder stability. Okay, so we're going to roll back onto the ball. So your shoulders and your head and your neck are nicely supported. You don't want to be straining your neck up here or anything like that. Working down the body, you want your feet hip width your knees hip width and a fairly neutral spine. That's a little bit of a challenge on here. So what I don't want is your back dropping down to the floor, which gets harder when you start moving. The other thing is I don't want your abs lifting up to the sky. So you wanna keep this fairly flat, so you're lengthening your lower back out and you'll get a nice stretch through the hip flexors, which is always nice for horse riders. Okay, so that might be enough for you. If you feel, if you feel your back working, but if you feel like it's straining too much, just relax it back down and build up slowly. So you might want to actually just play with the lifting up and down to start off with. And when you feel like you're okay there, you want a bit more of a challenge. This is where it gets fun. Um, you're going to start peeling one foot off the ground and the other. So you're peeling one foot off and back down. So I dropped a little bit then. So don't do that, <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. So lifting up, pressing the hips up and coming back down. So try not to rock from one side to the other. That's quite difficult as well. You want the stability in your core to the degree that you don't rock like I just did then. Back down. My ribs are staying connected into the ball. I'm not flaring and bracing up because we want evenness through the body. So every time I come back, I'm checking that, that my alignment's where I want it to be. Breathing out to lift the leg up, breathing in to return it. Breathing out, breathing in. Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in. So see how you go with that? Hopefully you'll find it a nice challenge. So that gives you nice strength through here because we want a strong back, strong abs that are also supple. You don't want to get too locked in the movement because then you get too stuck and stiff. So we're looking for strength with suppleness. So hopefully that will help you and see how you go and we'll see you next time.